Good morning, this is Sarah, your healthy carnivore in the UK, and this is my 61 day carnivorsary. Ta da! So now that we're, you know, go on, I'm going to put this on because it's day 61. So it's celebrate good times, all about me, 61 days carnivorsary. There you go. Now silliness is over, I'm going to go on to my topic of the morning and my topic of the day is, oh I guess I don't need my day 60 badge anymore, I'm going to have to turn this one into a day 70 badge and then have another party on day 70 because she's not going back. So here is my day, 70, uh, day 61 party outfit. Topic of the day is how does carnivore help you cope? And I've noticed some brilliant things since um, the first 30 days, not so much. First 30 days kind of sucked a bit. Um, <clears throat> it used to take me until about five, day five or six for my energy to return. This time it did take the whole 30 days for my energy to come up and be able to cope with the demands of the day without sagging, you know. Um, but now that I'm on day 61, everything is so easy. Everything is so easy. I would like to challenge the Key Stage 2 curriculum in the UK in schools. Because in the Key Stage 2 curriculum, um, years 3 to 6, it does promote carbohydrates being essential for energy. Well, I want to say, energy, energy, energy. I have so much energy, I don't know what to do with it. It runs out about 8pm. Uh, but um, and then I'm And then I'm walking around like a bit of a zombie then but but I recover quickly from stressful and energetic bursts let me explain yesterday lunchtime in my nursery was a little bit brutal a little bit tricky and afterwards I did feel a bit whoa I am tired half an hour later back to full energy no caffeine required firing up back again my body was ready to go again and there was no refueling required no caffeine required I, I just my body just recovered and I was going again and I was going all evening and I had to get home and I, and I had an appointment after work that was to remove my lashes my lashes are now back to boring again and I won't be having them done for ages because I'm trying to be as natural as possible so they've gone for now they'll be back maybe at Christmas I just was wondering why someone was looking at me and then I realised I have my day 61 party outfit on. Better get rid of that because people are going to think I'm as crazy as I am crazy. So being able to cope and it does amaze me now how and no brain fog. And I'm in a working environment where you do not need brain fog. Brain fog is... It doesn't work. I, we have um, 26, 27, three-year-olds in our class. Some of them still incontinent, <laughs> wanting my attention all the time. And I could not do this. It's not a stressful environment, but it is very, very, very busy. Very full-on busy. I'm not stressed and I'm working in an amazing team, but it is full-on busy constantly busy and so my brain needs to be functioning at top speed for the six and a half hours I'm doing it for so it needs to be and I need to be able to think instantly and quickly every second and once you finish one problem there's another one and another one and another one and, my, and the thought of doing this feeling poorly or in brain fog or under the or or in a food coma as a result of too much garbage the thought terrifies me so that's going to be another why to add to my list of reasons why I'm doing this. And I also know that when I eat like this, I do get sick a lot less frequently. And if I do get sick, it lasts 24 hours and it's gone. So I cannot be having a three week detox session in my body while my body's trying to figure stuff out from all the rubbish I've eaten. I can't be doing that. So, yeah, this is really about. This is just a waffle session about how I'm able to now cope in my daily life. 
One other thing I've noticed, which I think is incredibly positive, is I'm able to bounce back really quickly from irritating situations. And by irritating, I mean perhaps a family member has pissed me off. <laughs> and before, it would have been a mental battle with, I might need to go and comfort eat now, and it's going to be that person's fault for pissing me off. Do you know what I mean? I, because I because in the first 30 days I had quite a bit of practice at working things through, running letting things run their course. Most things that can set you off on comfort eating are only temporary blips. And if we can ride those, I mean, some things are serious. I haven't had a serious thing happen to me yet in this new restart of carnivore journey. So let's see how I deal with that. But I've had lots of little niggles and there was the worry about my son's teeth and the dentist and, and there was the going on the holiday with my family and having to go without sometimes because there wasn't the right food and having to be hungry on the beach because there wasn't anything for me and having to wait until I got back to the cottage to be able to eat. And there was, there's all these little things that I've had to work through, work through, figure, you know, mind game, mind game, figure it out, work through it. You'll be so glad you did. You know, that kind of moment where you think, right, I'm at a crossroads now. There are two options at this crossroads. Do I quit and then restart again next month? Or do I work through it, talk myself through it and come out the other side? And I have to say, it's getting easier to do. My body is not really asking for those dopamine hits anymore. So at day 61, really strong, um... I am amazed at my ability to cope in ultra busy situations. I'm amazed at the speed my brain is working at. Kerry at Homestead Hal talks about that, right? He talks about how his brain is super quick, super fast all the time. There's no delay in it at all. You can just go, go, go. And that's how I feel. So even though my fat adaptation is not done, and by that I mean... I am still getting hungry in the day, whereas I'd rather my body could shut down now and stop asking for food all the time. I am still needing to eat and getting hungry. And also, obviously, no fat loss because the tape measure is still the same as it was on day one. So in 61 days, I have lost no weight and still have my appetite. But other areas of fat adaptation are coming along nicely. All day energy, speedy brain thinking. Um, no cravings and no hunger between meals. Just my body's just asking for food twice a day and I'm letting it have it because I'm not going to risk falling off the wagon for trying to fast when my body isn't wanting to or isn't ready yet. So, yeah, that's my day 61 video. Really happy. I'll tell you a secret though, I filmed it on day 59. <laughs> because I had a thought of the day and I thought this is going to get really complicated now. I must have full faith in myself to do this. I think you've got to be really confident that you're going to keep going to be able to do that. I filmed this two days ago. Messed up. That's really messed up. I apologise. I just think that when I get a thought in my head that I want to talk about, I'm just going to film it and I'm going to put a day on it. Obviously, if I quit tomorrow, I would have to just delete this, but... I really cannot see that happening. I really can't see that happening. I'm very, 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 I'm there. I am there. And I'm going to, I'm already planning my day 70 video and all of its decorations and all of its uh, silliness and my 70 day badge. I'm going to have to convert my 60 day badge into a 70 day badge. I'm done. I'm absolutely done. I would like to invite you to enjoy your day. We are supposed to be having a bit of a heat wave later, but no sign of it yet. But later on, it's coming. Um, looking your best. No, looking your best. <laughs> I wish. 30 years ago, maybe. Doing your best looks different every day. Um, if you've got your meat, do it. If you've got your water, drink it. Um, and if it doesn't happen today, there is always tomorrow, but do it when you can and try not to put it off for too long, like me. Don't do what I did. 
I made that mistake so that you don't have to. I've now joined Mitch's channel, Old Guy Carnival. Um, um, I've, I'm probably going to be in trouble for this, but I've scaled down the Dave Matt one to super supporter instead of mega so that I can afford to go on Mitch's channel as well. So Dave's probably not going to be very happy with me when he gets that email and realise that I've gone from mega down to super <laughs> so that I can afford to do the Mitch channel. I am in trouble. You have an amazing day. I'm going to stop chatting. Do what it takes to be healthy and happy. And thank you so much for listening. Take care. Bye.